Hey, so welcome back, uh, the 12 viewers that are watching. Maybe it's going to get 1,000, maybe it's going to get 100,000, 10,000, I don't know, I don't care. So, um, nevertheless, I thought I'd go over, um, in an unscripted way, uh, my experience at um, Inktober this um, October, or as many of us like to call Spooktober, because uh, the dank spooky memes, you know, those... I guess they're really funny, you know? But uh, we're not here to talk about that. I could talk about that for ages. But um, I kind of wanted to go through this quickly and explain, you know, my experience in this whole Inktober thing because I really thought of it as a um, learning experience, if not anything else. Because, you see, Unless you don't know, I mean, you've seen through my page, basically none of it. There's like one time lapse, but most of this is not art. It's mostly just technology reviews. And to be honest, I'm not going to lie uh, when I say this, but I feel like I've really faded away from art in a way. Ah, uh, shit. Um, and I would say that's not a good thing. Because really I actually enjoy art and I feel like through this Inktober experience even though I didn't really do my best work I feel like it really brought out you know why I really am motivated by art I can't really explain it through words but all I can say is that um, it really brought me back to my senses of how much I actually enjoy art now people who view my pages might think you know I didn't really submit every day and I do apologize for that. There's no excuse. I should have submitted every day in order to stay on the train. Just like, uh, I guess, no, not November or whatever. You know, you gotta do it every single day and not do anything, which I honestly really respect. But anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that um, I guess it really, you know, even though I didn't do it every day, I really did gain an experience and, you know, really understand why I really enjoy art. And I can really appreciate art, but enjoying art and doing it myself, you know, that's on a different level. Not everyone can do that. I mean, everyone can do art if they put their mind to it, but not everyone has the motivation to really do that. And I guess I saw um, not just my passion, but I also realized that it is necessary for me to do art, not every day, Maybe every day. I don't know. Uh, just practice a bit um, once in a while because you know I've honestly felt like I lost some skills, and I honestly feel like there's skills I need to work on. For instance, I'm not necessarily the best drawer when it comes to landscapes or heck spheres or anything. The only thing I'm really good at, or not really good at, but at least decent at, is actually drawing people because that's, I've been working on a graphic novel for years, and that's something that came through time, but at the same time, that means that most of my other stuff was just three-dimensional, mediocre stuff, and it really needed a lot of work and molding, and I realized that I didn't really necessarily, even though I'm good at the character designs, I don't necessarily have a really good grasp on um, set design or the design of things around other things, and we see that a lot, I, I feel like we see that a lot on like the online community, like take DeviantArt for example, where I kind of cringed on it. You probably noticed that, you know, people make a lot of character designs. There's a lot of character designs. And a little bit of photography here and there, but most of the time when there's just character designs, they're usually flat. And I've always strayed away from that, which is good, because not a lot of artists necessarily go out of their way to make the person do something other than just stand still like this or, you know, do some sort of, you know, lazy pose or something like that. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I've been able to stray away from that. But at the same time, what I'm trying to get at is that there's not necessarily a lot of focus on backgrounds. And I realize I need to work on that a little bit more. There's a lot of things I need to work on. For instance, in my previous drawings, I have a tendency to really draw the face not perfectly. And when I try to draw detailed, it always ends up cartoonish. And that's a problem I've tried to have been working on on years because, you see, when I first started, I tried to copy off the anime design and 
that was a big mistake, I would say, because that's kind of necessarily engraved in my fabric when it comes to art now. And because of that, I can't really draw necessarily anything realistic without looking for reference at something. Like, in my head, basically everything is in an animated form, or some way. And I think of the most ways to make the detailed things seem very undetailed. And I really grasped that concept, and I've understood that that was something I also need to work on. And I think a good example of that was my um, piece where I took Bjork, and I made flowers coming out of her mouth. The face was okay. I would say that I needed to work on some line work around the that my neck. And I did work on, even though it was minimal details, I worked on like detailed structures of what was the most important, rather than overemphasizing certain fact uh, things, such as um, her eyebrows or her you know, lips or something like that. And I really focused on the main details, and that was good. But at the same time, I did not know what to do for the body, because even though I'm able to do a face you know, in some sort of way, I can't necessarily mold that with the body perfectly yet. And I need to work on doing a more detailed body when it comes to putting the whole thing together. Now on the other hand, even though some of my pieces that were more detailed did not look as good, and they looked a lot more stone cold, and uh, something you'd see in, I guess, like a 10th grade or 11th grade art project, um, there were very good pieces, I'd say, that didn't fit in those kind of, you know, really mediocre category, and that was when I tried to work a little bit more abstract in my design. And even though my abstract design did work around a concept that was like, um, like my, uh, I think it was, I think I called it Robo something, um, but that piece didn't necessarily lead to this. That piece didn't necessarily follow, you know, the very structural, uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional sort of structure, and I, I don't know, I felt a lot of joy when I made that piece, because, you know, even though he had wheels on his legs, I felt like, I felt like it was a very good piece in that way, because I, you know, the arms and the legs and the mouth and all that, you could see that was bursting out with energy. Um, I, I know, maybe I'm just speaking in some sort of weird tongue when I'm saying that, but if you understand, I don't know, comment below or try try to ask for an elaboration. I'll try to make an elaboration of what, what maybe I'm missing and what I'm saying. This is basically a rant, so I mean, half of the things are probably going to go over your head. But, yeah, um, I did also understand that I do need to work on my graphic novel more, because in this time I've also had a lot of time to, I don't know, listen, uh, read some of my favorite comics, uh, listen to some more of my old music that kind of brought me into art, um, and I've started to understand really, uh, I don't know, where my, why I like my drawings, why I like my graphic novel, per se, because... I feel like in another sense, it's also brought me to my graphic novel. And what I mean by that is that before I'd do a page every month. And then when I remember, I think around the same time that I started this, I started investing in Bitcoin a little bit more and because of my investment. Now this may sound completely, um, completely like two different realms, but let me try to put this in a better elaboration. When it comes to my Bitcoin, uh, I only earn $6 a month. I only make a page every month. And when they said a page a month, I mean, when I look at it that way, it makes me think that, you know, I'm earning more money than I am making pages. And they said, I remember watching a review and they said that you earn about seven Bitcoin a month you will not reach a Bitcoin by around 10,000 years or something very long like that. And it made me think, you know, if I don't really work on my pages as much, and there's going to be a lot of pages because I have a very long story that I want to tell. Um, if I don't really get around to that and I don't work on my, more on my pages more often, it's going to end up, you know, not being something I'm going to complete. 
and it's something I want to work on, and it's something I want to work to the point of completion one day, and one day maybe marketing this to a good amount of people. Um, and I guess from there, what I'm trying to say is that it's brought me to an understanding that I do need to work on certain sections of my art like this more. Um, other than that, uh, I've also realized that, you know, I need to work, I need to get back into the groove of also do it. What I said before as working on pieces every day, because I am also, I feel like I'm losing some of my key, you know, pieces in my art that make my art my art. And that is like, um, some, in my art, uh, when I work on my abstract or my graphic novel, um, I have this tendency of doing lines and all that, that show little detail, but are enough detail that you can understand what's going on. Um, and I've gone to a sort of a point of doing a lot of detail in certain parts that I shouldn't put a lot of detail in to. And so it's given me kind of an understanding that I need to, you know, be more lazy on certain points and go for that minimal aspect that I want rather than, you know, worry about a small minute detail that does not matter. Um, Anyway, aside from all this ranting, I do appreciate you listening, and uh, hope you had a good uh, Inktober as well. Um, I know I did, and I'll probably work on this more next time and try to do it every day uh, next year. Um, the music is also by Bison. This is his uh, album, Kona Beanie. It's a really good uh, lo-fi hip-hop album, if you ever listen to it. He also has a uh, side uh, rap um, I would say band called uh, O2, and both of them I really recommend really highly because they're they're on my top tier list in uh, music genres, and I kind of listen to some of this before I go to bed. It's kind of a good mix between Enya and all that, and all the popular artists I own. Um, with that, I would say uh, have a good day. Um, if you want to see my work that I do over summer, uh, I'll link my Instagram and my. Uh, uh, not Tumblr, Tumblr's for, you know, weirdos. Um, my Instagram and my imager down below, and you can see some of my works. Um, maybe judge for yourself, tell me what you think. I'd like to hear your opinions, and maybe what I should improve on. Um, anyway, have a good day, and, uh, see you some other time.